Hello, and I'm Mitch with Acronym. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your brainstem modules using our new updater program via the command line interface. If you'd like more detailed explanation, you can visit our website at acronym.com, navigate to support, and then our brainstem reference guide. In today's example, I'm going to be going through this one right here, and you can see that there's a whole lot of information here that can help you walk through step by step if you're needing extra assistance. Both machines up here, I'm going to be doing an example on my Mac side and we we'll be doing an example on the Windows side. So, within a good program, uh, you're going to have a good usage file. So, parameters, commands, and really the most helpful part here are all these examples on how to use this. So, the first thing we really need to know before we can update the modules, we need to know its serial number. And to do that, we're going to do a dash D for discover. And it's going to go out and it's going to check both transports of USB and TCP IP. And the one we're going to do here is this USB device. And this is the number I'm after here, this serial number. And pay special note here to what firmware version we have. So now that we have it, I'm going to go ahead and start building the command. First we want is a dash G for git. And that's actually going to pull the latest from our server here. I'm going to do a U for update. And then we need to tell it what device to update. So I'm going to put in the serial number here. And I'm just going to go ahead and press here. And it's going to begin the update process. Now you may notice that the, the Mac side is, is fairly quick. And in fact, it's already done. Um, after it's gone, um, if the system parameters have changed with any big update, you're going to need to do a hardware reset. So I'm going to go ahead and press the reset button a couple times. And then I'm going to do another discover to confirm that I have in fact updated my module. Discover, and now we can see that we're at 215. Everything is just the same here. You're gonna have a dash H for a usage file, and same thing for discover. Um, in this example, we're gonna do um, one of our TCP IP modules. So we're actually gonna do this MTM ether stem right here that's sitting at 214. And just the same way, I'm gonna do a git and an update. I'm gonna specify a device. And this device is D27203132. And go ahead and press start on that. All right, so it is finished updating the device here. And I'm just going to go ahead and confirm that we actually did update it by doing another discover, updater-d. All right, and there it is. And our device that we did is now at 215. And as with all our programs, everything we make runs on all three platforms, Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. Um, just the same as it is in all these modules. I hope this is helpful for showing you how to update your brain some modules. Thank you.